Good morning and welcome to Hajang. So we, I feel like we are as about as ready as we can be. Uh, we organized our bikes the other day, so these things are awesome. We got a 125cc Suzuki. Um, I, this will be the one I'll be driving and J my brother Joey got the exact same one. So these are 350 per day with insurance, comes with helmet. <laughs> and we are staying at this lovely place too, so be sure to check out this area if you're around the spot. Um, and today we begin our journey doing the Hajang Loop. So we got, a, uh, what is it? We got like a six days or a week on the loop. Uh, we're gonna take it really easy, just cruising around. Um, we don't know what to expect. We feel like we don't have enough gear. This is like the only winter gear to keep it cold. I'm wearing boardies, I'm wearing thongs, but yeah, it's going to be a good trip, guys. So let's see what is ahead of us. All right, so we've only gotten a couple minutes up the road and the bag situation wasn't working out very well, but we found this crate on the side of the road and decided to strap that on the back. Look at that, it's perfect. <laughs> we've got plenty of space now, so we're good to go. Scramble. <laughs> well, we got a couple of hours in, the bus was doing pretty well, but now it's just hanging off the side. <laughs> uh, well, just do a couple more altering, it should be right. So we have now arrived to our first accommodation after about almost a hundred kilometers of driving. Um, so we got here in one piece, which is good. And check out the, our place. This looks awesome. How good is this? Oh yeah. So we have survived the first full day of the Hajang Loop. We are united here with a bunch of other fellow backpackers that are doing the same loop. <laughs> we got this amazing smorgas for border food. Look at this. This looks so delicious. This is well needed after the day we have. But yeah, overall, it's been a pretty good day and we will see you on day two of the Hajang Loop. Bye. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to day two of the Hajang Loop. So we have modified our basket a bit better with the help of the hostel worker here. So this is looking much more safe now. I think we're going to have no more problems with this. But today we are going to make our way up north and see what adventures we can find along the way. So let's hit it. to get pretty cold driving out through those mountains and we weren't really well equipped um, like with winter gear so we found a good sh little shop here I got myself a jacket and some long pants I was in desperate need of long pants because I was just wearing boardies but we're just still gonna rock the thong so I think we're good to go now
so we have arrived in our second town called Miovac. It has been such a long ride. Our asses are extremely sore. And this is our accommodation of where we're staying tonight. How cool are these? It's like a big tube. So, <laughs> yeah, I've, I've seen these once before in Malaysia, um, but I don't think there's anyone else staying here and they even have a campfire. So we'll definitely be having a campfire tonight. Um, and that's pretty much it for today because we are going to crash hard. <laughs> it has been a long and exhausting day. Um, it's really interesting too because I we haven't seen many people at the places we've been staying at just because I think majority of the other people are doing the loop the other way. So we've seen, yeah, we, I think we've just done the opposite way everyone else does the loop. Um, but I guess I'll see you guys on day three of the Hajang Loop. Bye. Good morning and welcome to day three of the Hajang Loop adventure. So. As you can see, the weather is not very nice today. We are just sort of versus gearing up for the wet weather gear. So we're in the town of Miovac, and this is what we're dealing with at the moment. It's, it's actually starting to clear up a bit better, surprisingly. But yeah, the visibility is not very good. It's pretty cold, and we're worrying it is going to rain sort of hard. But we're going to a town called Dongvan. Um, depends how good we've got the weather we might even make our way further than come back to that town um yeah so let's see what adventures we have today holy dilly how crazy are these views <laughs> Uh, back on the road, I guess. Back in that direction where we can't see it all. Let's go. Yeah, so we've now stopped by a popular skywalk on the trail. This is the name of it here. I think this is like, like every time you look up the Hajang Loop, um, you'll get this view. Like you sort of have like the really nice big river in between all the mountains. But as you can see, the visibility is just shocking. Um, this is still a road. Apparently you can drive along this road if you're ballsy enough, but we're just going to park the bikes up there because, yeah, this does not seem safe at all. Um, so we'll just walk up here for a little bit to the viewpoint. I don't know how lucky we're going to be to see anything, but we're going to do it anyways because, who knows, the clouds do seem to clear out pretty quick around here. stuff this there would be no way I'd be driving this track even if it was good weather like look how skinny this track is there's just enough space for one bike this is the clearance you have on this side and on this side is the, just a complete drop off I, we don't even know how far down that is because of the visibility but oh this would be a scary drive up here especially in this condition Come to like the viewpoint area now. Um, you so said like I've seen in videos, you climb up this rock to the top, and then it's just a big giant open view. But this is our view at the moment. <laughs> just white clouds surrounding us. Not the best, but this is the condition. town of Dong Van. So this was actually very easy to get to. It uh, wasn't very far. I think we're gonna actually have lunch here and because 
the weather has been clearing up like really quick like we actually saw blue skies we haven't seen blue skies in a long time so i think i'll have lunch and then we'll head back to the exact same spot we we're previously at because that is like the best spot to get the most amazing view we we actually saw the river when we were driving um up this way so best of luck but i'll see you back where we previously were okay so we've experienced our first little bike issue we were just about to head back to that skywalk area then i noticed joey's bike had a flat tire so luckily we're in town to get this fixed up and we should be good to go maybe in another few more minutes Seventy thousand dong later in about 10 minutes we are good to go again the bike tire is all fixed up that's so cheap it's only like five australian dollars that is a very easy fix hopefully that is the worst that will happen throughout our trip welcome to day four of the hajang loop so sadly we didn't end up going back to that area we went to yesterday just because the weather never ended up turning out to be better it was just cloudy the whole time Welcome to one of the most northern points of Vietnam. Woo. Somewhere out in this, out in the distance there is Vietnam. The visibility is absolutely horrible. Holy moly, this is crazy. Uh, it sucks. It is not a good day for visibility, but can't get a good, can't get a good every day. to our next destination in a town called Yemen. Uh, we didn't even really organize any accommodation. We just sort of ro rocked up and hoping to get the best. Yeah, yeah. And we've been introduced to this lovely lady. She has an amazing house here. This feels like a mini mansion. Come and check out our bedroom. The bedroom is insane. So we've got two double beds in this huge room with this giant flat screen TV. I don't even know how much we're paying for it, but I don't think it's gonna be that much. And. <laughs> We pretty much have this whole entire place to ourselves because the, we haven't seen any tourists in it. It's not a bad way to end the day. No, it has been quite an adventurous day overall. Like we ended up having that crash. Um, we've been through a lot of crazy terrain. Like there was a lot of mud bits and oh, it was getting freezing in some areas we went around. Like it like instantly dropped like 10 degrees some places we got to. And we just found out my brother got another flat tire. I don't know how, but we're going to have to deal with that again. 
Um, but yeah, overall, it's been a pretty cool day. The, the views, holy crap, the views have just been out of this world. Like every 10 to 20 minutes, it's a total different view. Um, and all I can say is I cannot wait for tomorrow and see what tomorrow has to offer. So I'll see you guys then. Bye. Good morning guys and welcome to day five of the Hajang Loop. So this is going to be our last and final day. We have, I think it's around a hundred kilometer stint now back to the town we originally started. We got a pretty beautiful day to begin with. Um, hopefully it stays like this. Oh my God, I think there's even blue skies out in the distance. So yeah, this is gonna be exciting. Let's see what our last day has to hold. Okay, so we're still having a few little issues with the bike again, Joey's bike. Um, it was really lucky though how it all situated because we found out he's got a flat tire again, but once we found out, a few seconds down the road, we ended up finding this shop. Um, so we think the tire itself just has something like, like a piece of glass stuck in it, so it keeps puncturing it. Um, so I think it's just best for us to keep pumping it up more and more at each town we go to because we can get a bit of distance on it. Woo! Oh my god, how good are these views today? This is probably some of the best views we've had throughout this whole trip. And also because it is some of the best weather we've had. This is absolutely stunning. fully completed the Hajang loop. And we did it in 400, you can see that, in nine kilometers. Holy moly, what an epic adventure that has been. That was one of the best scenic drives I've been on my whole entire life. I'm really glad um, we did it the way we did it as well because coming back on the last stint, the roads were like really nice. Um, the weather was perfect and it was just a real cruisy drive back. The mountains views were out of this world. I 110% recommend to anyone, if they're gonna come to Vietnam, definitely do the Hajang Loop. If you can give yourself as much time as possible, that would be best. 
Uh, we were planning on doing this within like, we we're actually gonna give ourselves another day to do this, but we were sort of in a bit of a rush. Um, but I heard a lot of people can do this in three days, but if you can at least give yourself four or five days, uh, that will be perfect. And there's plenty of like bike shops around the Hajang town. Uh, this is where we got ours. The bike we got, the Suzuki ones, if you are driving with two people, I feel like that's the perfect bike to get because it was super comfy. Um, and you can sort of rig up yourself a little basket uh, on the back to put in your bags if you uh, want to do the exact same like we did. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. I hope you have enjoyed my Hajang Loop adventures with my brother, sister and his wife. Um, it has been a wild ride and I hope you guys enjoyed the ride as well. Um, and sadly, this is the end of my Vietnam adventures. Um, because this whole coronavirus thing going down, we had to end up booking our flight, well I had to end up booking my flights home super early uh, back to Australia. So we're, I'm gonna be flying home tomorrow. I don't know what's gonna be happening with my YouTube after this. Um, I do have plans in the future. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'll keep you up to date in a whole new video. But other than that, I hope you guys have enjoyed the wild ride and thanks for watching. Follow your dreams, escape your comfort zone. And I'll see you later. Bye.